And Bank will get Yankees are walking into a buzzsaw tonight, though. Okay, d let's talk about the that. Aquarium. And, and specifically, well, everyone in that lineup is hitting home runs, okay? Including Taylor Walls, who, d he, he he just did not have it at the plate last year. But, man, what a turnaround. This this is the type of stuff. Listen, I love the superstars and putting them on the skybox. I know that sells, but this is the type of stuff on a nightly basis. You watch guys iron out a big league career. You start to get fired up for them, right? Third rounder, third rounder out of Florida State, 2017 shortstop. So let's pump the brakes a little bit on the fact that you're playing every day in at Florida State shortstop, you can play. You're a third round, rounder by the Rays. It goes through the minor leagues. The one thing we talk about all the time is how do you add value? I came up as a utility guy with the Braves. How do I add value? Get the bunts down. Move runners over. Run the bases the right way. Play D. All those little things. The hit, the hit tool will come later. Last year, they trade Willie Adamas. Everyone's waiting for the arrival of Wander Franco in the Rolls Royce. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago, I'm sorry, Nace, thank you. <laughs> all of a sudden, Taylor Walls is the guy that shows up, and it's all D, no bat. But how did he add value? All defense, all the time. There's teaching moments in this, and he had the ability to control the strike zone. He ran the bags well, and they could wait for the offense to come a little bit. Well, sooner than expected, the guy's pumping jacks now. Let's get into it a little bit. He's having a great start to the season, but I love all the other stuff he has brought to the table for the Rays. Like I said, the ability to play second, short, third. You could put him anywhere on the diamond. He's giving you gold glove, but I didn't know he was going to run into homers as well. So I want the kids at home to watch this guy, and we talk about it all the time. Pre-pitch setup. Pause this. If you're coaching your kid, get me to a clean frame. That looks fuzzy. <laughs> All right. Here we go. When you're watching your kid, you're coaching your kid. It's big. Are you prepared? Boom. With the pitcher, you're working in unison. Boom. So I can move. Both sides. You heard Billy Ripken talk about it. Every pitch should be the same. Dustin Pedroia used to stand static. One, two, and hop. I'm going. I used to be a more kind of step into it right here. Boom. I'm ready. Taylor Walsh, give me something. Don't give me five guys out on the field doing Taylor Walsh and three of you are out there, you know, picking dandelions because then a ball gets hit in a gap and we're blaming you why we're not champions. So watch this guy go about it. I love this. What kind of park they playing in with dandelions? <laughs> Tell the field crew. Remember that, yeah. dandelions <laughs> out on the field? But you talk about adding value. This is what he was, right? When you turned on the Rays game, you were getting big league defense. Controlling the strike zone. This was the other night. This was beautiful. Spot shadow. Bang! Backhand. Mm. That's nice. So there was a lot to love there. Man, look at him work with Wander Franco. He does it a little bit differently, but both prepared to make a move left and right. And he controlled the strike zone. So pause this. Bring up the defense board first. Infield DRS wow. leader since the start of 2022. Cabrian Hayes, which I wouldn't have put him up there. Haven't been locked too too much on his D, but there's Taylor Walls, second place, Brendan Rodgers, Nolan Arenado, Andres Jimenez. So he adds value defensively. How did he add value before he started raking as well? Hmm. Next board. Lowest chase percentage. Making the pitcher work. Constant 3-2 counts. And I know last year it didn't kind of equate to batting average and production offensively. But every time, Kevin Cash knew what Taylor Walls was bringing every time. Good peepers at the plate and the ability to play D. But now, hold on. We've made some subtle adjustments offensively. Let's get into it because the month of April and the start of May, somebody's a factor in this run. 67 home runs the Tampa Bay Rays have hit as a team. Second most all-time in this many games to the 2,000 St. Louis Cardinals with the likes of Mark McGuire, Jim Edmonds, oh. Ray Lankford, J.D. Drew was a puppy on that team. And now this guy's going deep, left and right, okay? So hold on. Bring up his career split sports because we're going to get into the subtle changes he's made. Look at this. Look at the batting average last year, 21 and 22. Buck 82. Imagine driving to the yard every day 
$1.82 and I'm here to play good defense and run the bags, but that's what you do. You got to make a living. At some point, you got to realize, too, you keep gaining to get better, but you're also an employee making a living, trying to do a job. So all of a sudden, it has turned 290. Look at the weighted runs created plus. 100 points higher. He's 72% better than your average big leaguer right now. Offensively, pretty awesome stuff. Did he change anything? Let's look. Pause yeah, this. He, yeah. Ooh, yes. Wow. That? Okay. Wow. So, just a little bit of tinker for him. He said he felt like he was working a little bit too steep down on the baseball. This way, pulling the bat head down, and he wanted to flatten out his hand path to create more getting on plane with mm -hmm. the baseball. I wouldn't do this. But it works for him. That's why we constantly look at different sky boxes. Maybe it unlocks something. Run in the garage. Put a ball on the tee. Maybe Taylor Walls changing his hands changes your career. Who knows? But look at it. Why wouldn't you do that from vertical to horizontal? To, to me, I, I was a top hand thinker. My bottom hand was up my strong hand, so I had to incorporate this. I wanted to present this down on the baseball. Bang! I wanted to create that. I felt like if I would have been here, my top hand would have been lazy. Mm. That's just the way it feels in my hand. Run this real quick. See if there's any subtle differences. Run that back real quick. Run it again. Pause. Let it soak in. This is what we. This is what I do on a nightly basis. Let it soak in. Where's his hand placement? Is he stacked on his backside? Does he overstride coming off this? What's Shane McClanahan thinking in the background? Run it. Pause. And now run it through. Boom. And that was last year, and he struggled. Has he done anything different here? Pause. Sim uh, simplified it a little bit. A little bit lighter leg kick than he had over here. Run. Pause. The hands are way, the way more in position to fire. Just seems like he's way more in control. It kind of almost looks like that move for him has quieted his hands down to where he knows it. Now he can just present them to the baseball, run it. It's awesome to see him have early season success too because it's just going to allow him to drive to the yard with a different a different mindset. He's got he's got room to play with. He's got some struggle coming his way. Everyone does. Mm. The other thing you've noticed too with the ham presentation is he's, he used to get destroyed by elevated heaters the last couple years. Ooh. He seems to be on time closing the screen door on those early in the season. Lock in on him. Lock in on what's going on there. This is where he was elevated, hitting a, a buck 35 off it his first two years in the big leagues. And now he's hitting 350, throwing in a couple homers. So just like the evolution of the player getting better, becoming an offensive force, who's to say? We don't know where his career goes, right? Awesome. Could become a perennial all-star. Zero, um, sometimes you covet a uh, swing of a teammate. When you were showing that, it looked a lot like Brandon Lau. Yes. 